I've never done a, a fall weaning uh, video before. Lewis has got a bunch of mares here. We got a wean and a few of mine. And let's walk down here and let's, let me show you what I kind of what we're doing and what we have done. So all these foals are, how old are these foals, Lewis? Were they like five, six months old? Yeah, I bet so. Yeah, I think that's where we're all at. So, so it's the end of September here. So they're all at least that. And so what we do, and there's probably 10 different ways to wean the foal. But the way we do it here, I've got all these pins set up here. So for instance, this mare here, this is her baby here. So the ideal is we put the mare and the baby next to each other so they're comfortable. And then the foal learns how to eat without being right beside its mom. So whenever the mama's gone, the foal is eaten. That makes sense. So it's like, see the foals over there eating and the foal is fine and the mare, everybody's happy. Well, they're all gonna be pissed off when we all, when we separate them. And so the ideal is for about a week and a half to two weeks, we feed them like this. So whenever the mare is gone, the baby's not running in the pens and being all nervous, the baby will walk up there and eat just like he's been eating for the last two weeks. So then hopefully he doesn't get sick. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna pull the mares off. We're gonna ultrasound them. We're gonna test the new ultrasound. I bought this cheap ultrasound off of Instagram. I don't know if it's any good or not. Vaccinate the mares, worm the mares, and then the mares will be, will be turned out. And the same thing with the foals. We're gonna vaccinate and worm the foals. And then the foals stay, the mares go. So that's what we're doing. So Lewis is catching the first mare here. Like 25 years ago, I paid like 18,000 for this thing. And so the other day I was on Instagram and I saw this little cheap ultrasound for 1,800, no, it was $1,400. And I don't know if it's any good, but if it's, any, if it's half as good as this one, I'm gonna try it. It's a little bitty guy, so we'll see. I had to get it out. Heck yeah. <laughs> so I can send it back if it's a piece. That's a decent deal. Yeah. Oh, these old mare boys, old mare always pushes. Her mama was is the worst pusher in the world, or was the worst pusher in the world. Yeah, I feel the baby in there feels good. But I'm gonna check it with the ultrasound. I just don't know where to set the gain yet. Mm. So it doesn't have the little flip up screen, huh? No flip up screen. Might have to build a stand for it. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of got where you're supposed to hold it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like with your off hand. Yeah. See, there's, oh, that's not bad. See the baby there. Hang on a minute. See, that's all baby there. That's amniotic fluid above it. That's the baby there. Backbone. And let's see what we, huh. Wait, but we need to do, a, I need to do like a, a open mare. Yeah. So that's ovary right there. Let's see, see those are follicles. And then this would be, this is all uterus right here. Uterus. So she, she's not pregnant, which we knew that, but. I can almost turn that gain up a little bit more. Easy. It's not really, really not that bad of an ultrasound. Might have to read the instructions. All right, we're good. She's, she's, so she's gonna be open, so. So the main reason we missed her once or twice, and then it's getting where it's like gonna be July before we got her bread again. So we don't want to we don't want to be having a foal in the end of June. So we said we'll just skip her this year. She's got a foal on the ground. She had one last year, and then she has one this year. So we'll just skip her this year, and then next year we'll catch her early. We'll get her bread, you know, in April, and then get her caught back up. So the the gestation period on a whore, on a mare is 11 months and a week. 
So if you if you breed her, you know the middle of July, you're not gonna have a foal till the uh, to the third week in June. In June, so we don't want that. Oh, she hates shots. Always has. <laughs> You know, like Jesse, she's got kind of, so you know we. Some marriages you need kind of wean the foals with. Now, like this mare here, I think you could leave a foal on her all the time. She's never going to lose weight. But like we've got another one, the gray mare, of Lewis's squall. She's just a hard keeper, you know, and and I think you're better mm -hmm. off as hard keeper. She's not making enough milk for the foal. I think you're better off weaning them early. Because then the foal is going to be bigger. Because mm -hmm. essentially, yeah, essentially you're kind of starving the foal because mama's not keeping up with it. And you're better off just go ahead and wean the foal early. Right. And get him on full feed. And let the mare bounce back. Yeah, and let the mare, the mare come back. And... Oh, come on, there. She's so pregnant, I can't even see the foal. <laughs> I can feel it, but I can't see it. I can see amniotic fluid. That's about it. Well. Uh, well, she's pregnant. There's amniotic fluid in there, but I can't see the foal. The foal, she, she's too far. She's probably the first one we got pregnant, though, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. She was. She should be real. She should be... One, two, three, four... She should be five months pregnant. She was one of the first ones, too, yeah. I think. Pretty dang quick. She had her full first. Whoop, step up, Sage. I think she did. I just worry about... Well, surely she was far enough along whenever she got sick that we didn't, didn't hurt anything. Didn't hurt anything. The next one's one I'm worried about, Squall, because I only, she's like the very last one we bred, mm -hmm. and I only checked her one time pregnant. She was just like 16 days. Okay. Dang it, this isn't looking good. She didn't feel very good. She's open. I don't know. She must have, surely she lost it before she got sick. We'd have seen it that far. Dang it, Sage. All right, well, that happens. Because we had her real pregnant, didn't we? I had a heartbeat. Yep. Sage. Well, you'll have that. So, pretty much what we had here, Lewis, was, you know, you get her out to a heartbeat, you get an em the embryo, heartbeat on the embryo, and then you're done. Yes, sir. And she lost it between then and now. Which which happens, I mean that's just. But once they go to once the embryo goes to heartbeat, yeah. if, even if she loses that that um, embryo or fetus, once it goes to <laughs> once it goes to heartbeat, the mare won't cycle back. <laughs> Normally, you know that that season again. So that's where we take it to a heartbeat. Once we see a heartbeat, which is about 35 days, then we just kick the mare out because you're done. Cause there's, there's, there's no reason to, to keep, keep her up and keep checking her. Cause if she loses that foal, that embryo at that point, she's not gonna cycle back usually. She's upset mama. Probe in my hand. 
Yeah, we're all good. Yep, baby looks good. Okay. Well, all right, good deal. So we got, you got what, three? Three bread. Three bread and two open. Two. Well, we, well, we we knew we knew we were yeah we knew intentionally Rhonda was letting Rhonda go yeah and then Sage was a slip and Sage had one that gotten sick so Sage was the one we had the video of us get she got real sick with mastitis but I don't think that I don't I just don't think that that caused the uh, her to to um, slip that foal I mean I think she'd have probably already slipped it by then but. And the little ultrasound, what is this? A Eagle View ultrasound I bought off Instagram? I don't know. For, you know, for $1,500. That's an Instagram buy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bought nice. off Instagram. Yeah, like, because, I, I mean, I mean, literally that one I paid $18,000 for 25 years ago. And it's a good, and it's still good, but, it's, I mean, it's getting old. This little plastic crap on here, I'm, it's going to go away. But, um, yeah, I just bought it off Instagram. It came in yesterday. I'm like, shit, yeah. So. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. I'll, for $1,500, I'll, it's pretty dang good. I mean, it's not like a $20,000 machine, but no more than a guy needs. That'll work. Used to back in the day, whenever we were ultrasounding all the recent mares, I'd like, okay, when a mare loses her shit, mm -hmm. save me first, yeah. then the ultrasound, and then yourself. <laughs> hey. So we don't handle these colts. Some people like to handle them when they're little. We don't. I like I like for them to stay a little wild though. I want them to be a little watchy, they'll get away from you. So whenever we, whenever we do um, put a halter on them, which would be pretty quick here, they got a little, they got a little respect for you. You don't want to make a freaking pet out of them. That's the worst. We bring the foal up here. The foal in this pen, we shut the gate, and then this here, this gate here, we pull around and smash the foal in there. Okay. This rope needs to be laid out like that, and then we just some whoever's on this end just take a wrap, and then just take okay. a dally, and that's okay. how. We, and then, and then whoever's up here, the the, the gate kind of bends, and just let the foal sit in there with head pointing that way. Okay. Worm the foal, vaccinate the foal, then let him go. Yeah, she's gonna get big, and I, we got her off her mama, starving her down. You wanna come this side or? She's already about as tall as her mama. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of, she's kind of doe belly, like she's kind of a do doggy, doggy oh, calf, yes, you know, and that's yep. where you just like squat would not giving enough milk. Okay, yeah. All right, bring that gate in. Go get your gate over there. Then wrap it around. There you go. Gotcha. Got it. Yep. But you're so gentle. Come here, bub. Come here, bub. Got him. All right. All right. He'll be ready to go home now. <laughs> you see how you could knock some teeth out doing this? Oh, yeah. Dang it. 
He's already been in here a couple times since. We, oh, is that right? Yeah, because yeah. he, you know, when he got oh, snake, when he snake bit, bitty. when he got snake bit, we, uh, yeah, I had him in here doctoring him. All right, got him. So that horse there, just he's born pretty crooked legged, mm. you know, and then he got snake bit. He just been, <laughs> he ain't got a chance. All right. Another one. He's, that Hancock blood. That's that old Hancock. Remnant. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, got a funny wrap on it, but I yeah, got it. You got it. Got him. Easy day. Lift your head up, bub. <coughs> Got him. Too easy. I like him. Gonna be a bunch of crying around here tonight. Mm -hmm. I guess let's go load mares, go to your house, huh? Okay, huh? sounds good. Sweet. Well, all right, so we got, like I said, we started about two weeks ago getting the foals and the mares separated. We got everybody weaned today. We're, we got the foals vaccinated, the mares vaccinated. Everything's palpated, so now the mares get turned out essentially for the winter at Lewis's. These are all Lewis's mares. Um, yeah, so we're headed to your house now. So we'll probably just call it here, huh? Yep. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Hey, I was speaking on subscribing. I am over 50,000 now. I looked this morning. I was 50,008 subscribers. Shoot, yeah, finally. So, yeah, it only took half a million years. We finally got there. So now, what, about four years, three years? Something like that. So, yep. All right, well, we're going to keep bringing the videos to you if y'all keep liking them and subscribing. Thanks. We'll see y'all later.